You've got three bamboo poles which the net is attached to, and that is set. The otters are sort of tethered to a harness, and that harness is attached to this big long stick here, which is also attached to the front of the boat. I imagine that can be released. We've then got a long skinny stick, like this, with a little hook on the end of it, which you can see here, and that's actually used to hook onto the harness of the otters and kind of control them, isn't it? Like that, because they obviously get very excited when they go fishing. There's very, very thick, deep, silty mud here. The otters go down and they chase everything out of the mud up and into the nets. They just keep the pups, or the, the little ones, with the parents, and the parents train the babies. It's the otters passing on the skill and understanding to one another of how to work with the humans. It has sort of been lost how to train an otter to do this for you. So if he lost his otters, he wouldn't actually know how to, how to train them. These otters are endangered, but because they've been bred for fishing for several generations, the fishermen have played an essential part in the continuation of the species. Hungry, yeah? They're hungry, they want some fish. This is how excited they get about fish. If I don't feed them now, they'll chew their way through that cage. Oh, she nearly took my thumb off. She came out of the top. They're just munching their way through that fish at a rate of knots. I don't know what's going to happen when they come out of the cage. If you see the way they eat fish, I don't think these are the most uh, well-behaved otters on the planet. They're just like... Right, otters are coming out. So we've got the mother and the father on the poles, and the baby, she doesn't need to be because she'll stay there and follow her mum and dad around, so she doesn't need to be tethered. And she's free to go and really get, get involved. The process is intriguing. You've got this long net that's attached to this sort of football post-shaped bamboo frame, and they push the net down and along the bottom of the mangrove. As the net goes down, the two otters that are tethered get a bit of a tug, and that's their signal to dive. And these two guys here control the boat, and they start out, and they bring the boat in very slowly with this method close to the shore. So it's a four-man, three-otter job. I'd rather be an otter in this heat than a fisherman, because it's sweltering hot. And in order to catch enough, we're going to have to be out here for a whole day. Time to get stuck in. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, OK, let's work, let's work. It's relentless. Net down. Oi, oi. It's quite hard work, this. And to be honest with you, I haven't quite got the knack of it. Ah, fish. I have no idea what it is. It's going into the basket. Another hole in of the net reveals something else. Caught a prawn. He's trying to bite me. He's got big pincers on him. Oh, you can't have it. Go get some more. Oh, wow, look at that. These are some of the things we've caught so far. We've got lovely big prawns like this and little fellas like that. These are sort of a more freshwater prawn. Um, they've got big blue pincers. So we've got regular ocean prawns and brackish water prawns, equally as delicious as each other. These guys get really, really big. With a run of the channel complete, we head back upstream for more food. To rest, the adult otters willingly go back into their cage, while the baby takes a little more convincing. In you go. Good girl. Just like that, she's in her box.